let's have a look at uh, an example with randomized controlled trials and we are comparing two groups let's assume in this example that we try to compare two different methods one old traditional one and a new uh, method to reduce pain in patients exposed to whiplash trauma and pain is measured with a visual analog scale and we are looking for change in pain estimation from baseline and during a specified time that uh, happens. So the assumptions we do is that the change in pain in active treatment the pain is reduced more in the active treatment group compared to the control group and in each group we have a standard deviation which is a measure of how the patients in each group uh, spreads out from the group mean. This is how uh, the program, the software G-Power looks like when you start it up. We're going to use it uh, to make a sample size calculation for an example in a randomized controlled trial. Uh, in this example we randomize patients to two different pain reducing protocols for reducing pain in patients uh, recently exposed to whiplash trauma. Uh, the pain is measured in, in a visual analog scale and we want to investigate re the reduction in pain during a certain time period between the two groups. Beforehand we need to have decided what kind of uh, statistical test we want to use. Uh, assume that we want to use students t-test and we choose our test using these two options an alternative pathway is to use this uh, menu on top where you can uh, develop further submenus but currently I'm using this one and I'm using um, I'm choosing the option of difference in means between two independent groups uh, we need to put in some kind of assumptions before we do the calculation and the program has just preset a number of arbitrarily chosen figures as examples. First we want to click on this button and then a flap will evolve in the right side of the program and here we have the option of stating uh, estimations for either each group separately or if the two groups have the same standard deviation. Let's choose that they have a different standard deviation. The mean in group 1 which is given the new active treatment, they have a reduction of 22 millimeters of pain but the other group only has a reduction of 7 millimeters and the standard deviation in the first group is 21 and the standard deviation in the second group is 25 so let's click here and using these figures an effect size will be calculated which is 0 0.65 we want to have this effect size transferred to this main calculation area so we just click this button here and this effect size has now been transferred here now we need to investigate the other parameters that we set as well. Uh, you can choose between one-tailed and two-tailed testing. Uh, one-tailed means investigating if the new intervention group is better or equal compared to the control group. 
Making it two-tailed means that we also open up for the possibility that the control group is statistically better than the new intervention group. What kind of p-value do we strive for in case there is a real difference? And we strive for a difference, we strive for a p-value less than 0 0.05. And this is the probability with which we want to achieve a low p-value. Let's leave it like this, and then click Calculate. And we see that we will need 63, 63 patients in each group. Now, someone might say that uh, visual analog scale is not, should not be tested with t-test. It should be tested with another test. So let us choose um, man witness test, two independent groups, which is a, a sort of a rank test. Yeah, and it can deal with data that has an order but has no uh, equidistant scale steps. So let's put in the same information again. And let's click on calculate. Uh, and we see that the sample size in this case would actually be slightly lower if you used man witness test, uh, a total of 110 patients. This was an example of how you do a sample size calculation prior to a randomized controlled trial, which means that in this example, with these assumptions, if we use t-test, we would need 126 patients. If we used man witness test, we would actually need a few, some fewer patients. I recommend that you try to do a sample size calculation and that you look for the assumptions you need to put in the calculation in previous publications. So you try to do your best guess. And I recommend GPower. It's a free software. You can use it for most statistical tests. The exception is uh, log rank test and Cox regression, which include time series uh, where GPower uh, can sort that out. In that special situation, I recommend a software called PASS. P -A -S -S. Thanks for listening.